Our industry is uh, it's a service-based industry. We've been in business for, for quite some time now, uh, since 1979. And uh, we basically provide services to pork producers, dairy farmers, agricultural uh, uh, interests like uh, cat feedlots, cattle lots, and that, th and that nature. We uh, build some equipment, do a little bit of consulting for their needs, and uh, uh, try to help them along in their operation. We're looking at being able to take uh, the five-man crew that we used to uh, basically run in our large lines and make that a two- and a three-man crew. And seeing as the equipment does not have to sleep, we can, we can rotate those people. And we think that we will probably, of course, we won't double it, but I think we'll pick up another 60, 70 percent working time in the same amount of time. Normally when we go to a job site, it takes, uh, it takes three to five people to run a crew because we have one pump at site, a booster pump, and maybe a secondary pump depending on what kind of distance we're going out for our application side. And uh, what we've always had to do is have a person at each pump to run the pump, to, to run the throttle up and down based on pressures coming into our pump. And uh, what Mobile Star has done is it's given me the ability for my tractor cab as the guy out there actually applying the manure to be able to control all three of those pumps from my, from my cab um, through a wireless card on a, on a laptop. And then I just need a buddy or another guy with me to keep hose laid out in front of me or keep me staged. And that's where we've picked up a lot of efficiency. So now by not eliminating two guys, but being able to move two more guys into another role, they can either come in as a second shift or they can be um, you know, getting other equipment ready and staged for another job. And that's the reason that we want to be on board with Mobile Star because we can make our, our uh, customers more successful that are in the application business. We can bring them to the next step of, of more technology. We're already using mapping systems and guidance systems to do auto steer and uh, precision application with our tractors right now. And we're, we're able to deliver bigger pumps and bigger flow rates and make them more profitable. And this is just another tool that they'll, they'll need or they will uh, come on board with. We are using some hydrogen sulfide monitoring systems. Inside these barns, there's gases that are released during pumping. And the only way to monitor that currently or know that is with humans um, checking on pigs and make sure they're not making noises. With, uh, with remote hydrogen sulfide uh, monitoring equipment, we could probably link um, Mobile Star to those tractors so that if levels got too high inside the barns, we could have Mobile Star just automatically shut those tractors down to stop agitation, which would probably save quite a few lives of, of hogs. Mobile Star was able to adapt our situation and the adapt, adaptation that they did at Dakota Fluid Power to adapt that technology to what we're doing is, is precious. It's not like the technology is brand new. It's, it's actually trying to get it to fit, you know, like that little piece of puzzle in the picture that we need. We don't need a lot of overlap. We need something that's specific and that does specifically what we ask it to do. Uh, we're looking at cost savings of uh, labor. We're also looking at opportunity, which is running that equipment a little bit longer every day or during the season. And it also makes our stay with our customer much shorter. Uh, they love to have us come in, get it done, and get out. And uh, we need to do that.